This is Todd from All Things Archery and Shooting, and I've got another review for you here. This one's going to be on which is the best type of arrow for hunting, lightweight arrow or heavyweight arrow. And what I have here is I have four arrows. Now I got this idea from a YouTube um, watcher of mine, watch one of my channels. He went and looked through it. He sent me an email and said, hey Todd, can you do a review on different weight arrows, velocities, kinetic energy, so I can decide which one's better for hunting? So I said, hey, that's a pretty good, let's do that. So the way I did is I come up with four arrows. I have four right here. They're all different weights. Uh, first one's a carbon arrow. This one weighs in at 390 grains. Second arrow coming up to 2213 Easton, super light. This one comes in at 440 grains. Third arrow is a um, carbon extreme carbon arrow. This arrow is a heavyweight arrow, and it comes in at 480 grains. The last arrow I have is a 2219 um, arrow. This one comes in at 520 grains. So we got four different arrows at four different weights. All these are probably the, some of the hunting weights you're using now. Like me personally, I use a 450 grain arrow roughly when I hunt. So this can be quite interesting. What we're going to be doing, we're going to be shooting through two different bows today. First bow is going to be an Infinity Edge Pro. This bow set is 62 pounds at 28 inches. This is my draw length. It has an IBO rating of 310 feet per second, okay? The next bow we're going to be using in this review is G5 Quest. Now, this is a single cam bow, and single cam bows store more energy. So, this bow should give us higher kinetic numbers and higher velocities. This bow is set at 62 pounds as well. It's a 28 inch draw, and it has an IBO rating of 314 feet per second. So, we're going to shoot both of these and, see, and compare them, all right? Okay. Let's get to shooting and try it out, okay? Okay, everybody. First bow up is going to be the Diamond Infinity Edge Pro. Uh, again, this bow is a 310 feet per second IBO. This bow set is 62 pounds at 28 inch draw. We're going to shoot those four arrows. Now, I'm going to shoot across this chronograph five times, but I'm only going to show one time just, so, just because of time constraints. But we'll have, we'll get, I'll get an average of five shots, though, and we'll use that as our velocity rating. Okay, let's get started. Okay, first arrow. All these arrows are the same length. They're all um, 29 inches. And they all have a 100 grain point in them, except for the lightest weight here, which has a 75 grain point, so I can get the weight down. All right, here it goes. Let's see what it does. Again, first arrow, 390 grains. 10 foot from the chronograph, about 10 yards from the target. Okay, 257 feet per second. First arrow. Okay, second arrow. To 2213 Easton, it weighs 440 grains. Two hundred and forty three feet per second. Third arrow, carbon extreme arrow, weighs four hundred and eighty grains. Two hundred thirty five feet per second. Okay, last arrow, twenty two nineteen, five hundred and twenty grains. Two 
226 feet per second. Okay, now let's do the G5 Quest. Okay, G5 Quest. First arrow, 390 grains. Two hundred fifty six feet per second. Second arrow twenty two thirteen light, four hundred and forty grains. Okay, second arrow four hundred and forty grains, twenty two thirteen Eastern Super Light. Two hundred forty four feet per second. Third arrow, carbon extreme, four hundred eighty grains. Two hundred thirty five feet per second. Fourth arrow, twenty two nineteen. 520 grains. <sighs> 226 feet per second. Okay, everybody, we didn't shot both of those arrows. Remember I did a five velocity, an average of five shots. So the numbers I'm going to read off to you now are for an average velocity of five shots. And I'm really so I'm surprised the numbers are almost identical. I mean the 390 grain arrow from the diamond bow, um, that bow here is a 310 feet per second IBO rating and that bow set to 62 pounds. That 390 grain arrow came out of that bow at 257 feet per second. The 440 grain arrow from that same bow came out at 243 feet per second. The 480 grain arrow came out of the bow at 235 feet per second. And the 520 grain arrow came out at 226 feet per second. Now what can we look for these numbers? From 440 grain to 480 grain, we're only losing, which is kind of interesting, we're only losing 8 feet per second. And that's a 40 grain swing. Another 40 grain swing from 235 to 226, you're losing 9 feet per second. So it looks like the G5 Quest bow now, remember IBO 314 feet per second, also set at 62 pounds. The 390 grain arrow came out at 256 feet per second. The 440 grain arrow came out an average of 244 feet per second. And the 480 grain arrow came out at 235 feet per second. And the 520 came out at 226. These numbers are identical across the board. All right, I'm going to put all these up in a little spreadsheet, pop it up here so you guys can see it, and we're going to figure kinetic energy out next. Okay? Thanks. Okay, after some calculations, I can figure out how to figure kinetic energy on these numbers, and i got to be honest with you, I cannot see any major difference between a light arrow going faster or a heavy arrow going slower. The numbers don't lie. Con uh, the kinetic energy of the following is, is, is read. The diamond bow, remember, 310 feet per second, 28-inch draw, 62 pounds, using a 29-inch arrow that weighs 390 grains. The kinetic energy is 57.19 pounds. Same bow with a 440 grain arrow is 57.68 pounds. The same bow with a 480 grain arrow is 58.85 pounds. And the same arrow, let me stop, sorry, same bow with a 520 grain arrow, 58.96 pounds. 
Now that is a mean spread from an average of 1.75 pounds of difference between the light arrow going faster and the heavy arrow going slower. Now true, the heavier arrow going slower does beat it by over a pound of kinetic energy. But that one pound is not going to make a difference on any kind of penetration that I can see. And it's really, the numbers are really surprising. Now the G5 Quest, odd, all the numbers are the same, um, except for the 440 grain arrow. The 440 grain arrow is a 244 feet per second, is one foot a second faster than the diamond bow was. And it came in at 58.16 instead of 57.68 foot pounds. But again, that's less than 1.75 difference between the lighter, faster arrow and the heavier, slower arrow. So what's this tell us? Well, it tells me shoot what you want. If you want to shoot a faster arrow but, um, with a lighter weight, go for it. Or a heavier arrow with a slower speed, go for it. There's going to be no difference in penetration that I can see between these two. only difference you're probably going to see is drop. Now, the faster arrow, of course, is going to fly flatter and then the heavier arrow. So I'm going to do, we'll do another video on that at a um, later date, and we'll compare the actual drops. We'll use 10, 20, and 30 yards. We'll compare the actual drop for each of those arrows, how much they drop with a, with a set fixed sight. So that'll be the next video I do. That should be interesting. But that's the only thing I can see. I mean, the numbers don't lie. They're pretty amazing to me, actually. I, something I didn't even thought about. So let me know what you think about this. If you like this video, go ahead and click like for me. Um, be sure to subscribe. If you have any questions, drop me in the comment box there. And again, I want to thank you for watching. And like I said, stay tuned. i got a couple more videos coming out. I've got a um, one coming out. We're going to do um, compare drop on arrows from a slower to a faster arrow. We're also going to do a broadhead test on traditional equipment as well, too. So those are two coming out in the next couple of weeks. So look for those. And again, this has been Todd from All Things Archery and Shooting. I want to thank you for your time and thank you for watching. And most importantly, thank you for your support. Have a great day now. Ciao.